Hey guys, Miss Hall again. This module is on doing your style dressing. So, we went through doing your hand washing, which needs to be done. It's in the link below, so you can go and review that, as well as donning and doffing sterile gloves and opening your sterile tray. All linked below. So, when we start out with any procedure, we always check the orders. What are we going to do? What is expected? What are we expecting to find? What do we need for the procedure? After you've done that, you can gather your supplies and clean your area that you are supposed to use. In the case of doing a dressing, we are going to chat with the patient and find out what is their comfort level, how they're doing. We want to make sure that everything is fine with them as an individual and that they are ready for this process. Ensure that they have used the restroom or that they can at least consider using the restroom. So when you have finished with washing your hands, you open your tray and we had, we had opened the tray before so what we're going to do is to continue with that process Remember, we want to consider that one inch barrier around the edges of our tray that's going to be considered a sterile area. If we have a kit that includes drapes and we have a large procedure, we may choose to take one of these drapes and put it on the patient in order to extend our sterile field. In this case, our demonstration includes only doing a sterile dressing. So we will put that aside. Now being that I don't have an assistant, I will be ensuring to hold my solution with the label inside my hand, uncap and pour my solution. After I've done with that, my gloves are non-sterile. However, I do need gloves to attend to my patient because my patient has a dressing on that needs to be removed. So after you've made your patient comfortable, we are going to be sure to expose the necessary area. If you've noticed, I have here a Macintosh underneath my draw sheet. And since the dressing comes all the way down to his clothing, I am going to protect his clothing with one of those drapes that I have no intention on using. So after doing that, I'm going to examine the, the bandage. Is it soiled? Is it intact? Is it lifting? Does his sweat bother it? Is there dirt, like literal dirt on it? Sometimes that does happen. So you inspect the bandage for what, how it is. You inspect the area around the bandage. You want to see, has this bandage already damaged the skin? Because that will be a part of your process in terms of what tape are you going to use? So you would carefully lift the ends of the tape. And I typically fold it over just a little bit not completely so that it hits the bandit the, the gauze itself but just enough so that it doesn't restick to the patient's skin and then we go ahead and we do the same thing on the opposite side So now that I've taken off both sides, I'm going to gently pull it away from the skin and lift the bandage. 
I'm going to look at the bandage, the, the gauze itself. Is there a discharge? What kind of discharge? Is it a lot? What color is it? Does it smell? And then I dispose of it in our red bag. After, I'm going to look at the wound. How does it look? Is it intact? Do I see stitches? Um, is it hot? I make sure that I check. Is it hot? Is it hard? I can see if it's swollen. Is there a discharge on it? What color that discharge is? I need to make sure that I note all these things because I would need to note that when I'm documenting my, do my gauze change. So after I've done that now, that is my dirty portion of the dressing. So I can remove these gloves. However, this is a, a sterile dressing, so I will need to don new gloves. I'm careful not to touch anything on the tray as I go ahead and don my new gloves. And I've already poured my solution. So I'll have my clean hand and my dirty hand. I make sure that I dampen my gauze. You can use a forcep in order to grip to ensure that your dirty hand stays dirty and this is the clean end is then your next hand so you would then take and make clean swipes down the end attach new dressing clean swipes if you're going to put down something this is your dirty hand you're going to put the dirty hand portion off onto the unsterile end and your sterile end on but at this point this is the part that came close enough to your patient so you're still making sure that it has its distance from everything else on another note if you were to use your hand it would be the same concept you can't reach in here with your dirty hand you are going to reach in with your clean hand pass carefully to your dirty hand and wipe then toss. After you've done the process of cleaning, you are then required to dress. When you're dressing your wound, you need to make sure that you adjust the size of your dressing to cover the wound. You want to be sure to cover the entire wound, but not to put excess dressing on it. You will not just put one piece like this because that then makes it easy for this one, which is the protecting gauze, to get dirty. So you have to cover that with another piece of gauze. I've torn my tape before and I will then start to apply it. On one end and you smooth down the tape on one end of the bandage and then you put on the other end and smooth down the tape after that you carefully make sure that you go ahead and fill in all of the area the gauze itself needs to be completely covered for this to be a sterile dressing it needs to be a closed dress so with that we gently smooth down the sides and we have all areas of that gauze covered ensure that your client is comfortable Make sure that they've gotten everything that they, they needed. 
if they would you would like to inquire again if they would need anything for pain you check the bed to see if the soil if the um sheet has been soiled because if your sheet has been soiled then you will need to go ahead and do a bed change with this you would have no soilage so you go ahead you make your patient comfortable remove your drapes and ensure that they are fine you go ahead you pack up your stuff go back to the sluice room and clean up like you know you're supposed to and that is our module on maintaining a sterile feel and doing the dressing <laughs>